Hi, so I'm back with a uh, interim review, uh, I guess, during uh, the Green Lantern month, as I called it, of December. And uh, pretty unexpected, but uh, as you saw in my update video, uh, I was very pleased to get at least some of these figures right now. I'm going to start with uh, the Series 10 Robot Man of Cliff Steel. Now, Cliff Steel is uh, not the first Robot Man, uh, but he is probably the m most well known. The other was a Golden Age character uh, that had a few appearances and uh, showed up a little bit in the All Star Squadron. Um, however, Cliff Steel first appears in My Greatest Adventure number 80 in 1963. Um, but a little bit more on him later. Let's get into the actual figure himself. Uh, and this is a very good figure. I'm very happy with this. Look at the the mouth detail, the eyes, and uh, everything. You got this nice bronze, uh, metallic bronze paint offset by this very flat black uh, trunks, and it's just it's great. He's got all the standard DC Universe uh, articulation. Uh, you know, swivel there, bend here, swivel at the rest, uh, crunch, abdominal crunch, and waist side to side, legs go, legs go out and up, back and forth, uh, pivot at the uh, thigh, bend at the knee, and bend at the wrist, and even a little uh, pivoting action for the feet. So his head does not only move side to side. I can't get it to go up and down really, just ever so slightly. What that lacks, it makes up for in its little hidden feature, which I will show for you in a minute. But it's also nice that they included the little device that you hang around here, which is actually a camera that the leader of the Doom Patrol, of which he's a part of, would use uh, to see things, to see and hear things going on. Uh, of course, Niles Calder uh, was confined to a wheelchair, so he couldn't always go where all the re rest of the members of the team went. So that's how he kept in touch and saw what was going on to the special feature of the figure. And that is uh, his brain uh, looking very purplish. Uh, that's the only thing. Uh, my feeling is that it should be a little pinker rather than purplish. Um, but uh, again, nice on nice little thing on there. When I first uh, tried to take it off, it was very difficult to get off, but now it just uh, pops on and off, and it stays on there quite nicely. You know, and it's not gonna not gonna drop off when you turn them upside down and shake them. Uh, so it's nice and tight, and you wouldn't even know that it opens. Cliff Steele was a race car driver, and he was in an accident that uh, damaged his body, and the genius or uh, mad genius, if you will, of uh, Niles Calder decided that he would save him by putting his brain into a, the body, in this uh, metallic body. It's been retconned in the most recent, uh, and there have been many incarnations of the Doom Patrol. But in the most recent incarnation, uh, it was established that Niles Calder actually caused the accident for the express purpose of 
uh, making people into these weird uh, superhero, super-powered people, um, which I really don't like. I like the uh, Silver Age kind of, they're just unfortunate people who just got help and, you know, sort of made into these freaky, super-powered people unintentionally. And I'm not really a Doom Patrol uh, kind of fan, uh, but uh, my exposure to uh, Cliff Steele is primarily through uh, the Teen Titans appearances, because uh, he really formed a close attachment to Beast Boy when he was on the team, uh, and uh, so, and they remained close when he resurfaced uh, after all the other Doom Patrollers were thought to be dead, which they weren't, uh, but uh, Cliff Steele was the only one of those people that survived, so uh, that even drew him closer, and uh, also that reflects on Beast Boy's relationship with Cyborg. Uh, because very similar uh, instances of people being injured and being transplanted into uh, a cybernetic organism. Uh, Robot Man more so because he's just a brain, uh, but Cyborg is, you know, basically Robot Man reimagined again. Uh, so, the similarities uh, really run deep. As I said, there have been many, many in incarnations of the Doom Patrol, but there has always been one constant, and that is Robot Man, Cliff Steele, uh, has been on all of the teams, at least for some period of time. Uh, and even including the weird, uh, trippy, Grant Morrison, Doom Patrol. He's probably my favorite member of the Doom Patrol. That's pretty much all I have to say about Cliff Steele, uh, Robot Man. Tune in next time when I get to the uh, other figure, uh, the Joker.